I have a story for all of you. Uh, to protect the names of the innocent, the person I'm going to be talking about, let's call him Stan. A few years ago, I was acquainted with someone named Stan. And Stan, my first encounter with him was seeing him acting on stage. He was, he was a side character, but he was the only character I remembered. And I approached him, and I was like, Stan, you were absolutely incredible. I loved every scene you were in. You were hilarious. And he comes back with even more jokes, and I'm like, God, this guy's even, this guy's even funnier off stage than he is on stage. And then I do this program at my college called Acapella Camp, and it just so happens that Stan is someone that is teaching there. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I, I want to get to know this guy better. And I ended up falling in love with that program. And there, there's, there's, three, there's three different instructors. And okay. he was one of them. I was in another group. I was in with uh, Stacy's group. I'm protecting the names of the innocent here. I just I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my head cool right now. So we they turned it into an annual thing, but I was there for the first year and I got close with everybody in that first year, including Stan. And the next year there the same people are doing the acapella camp again. I think there was yeah, it was all the same people. I couldn't make it to the second year, though. I was bummed out, but I did say happy birthday to Stan. Like, I was so busy with classes, I couldn't fit time. Like, I sent him this picture, because he, he asked everyone to do, like, a specific pose for a picture, and everyone was posting him pictures on his wall on Facebook, and it was so funny. He he was so good at making everybody smile, you know. He's, he's the most... <laughs> he was, like, one of the funniest people I ever knew. And then year three, Rocco Belly Camp comes around, and he's no longer, stands no longer an instructor. And I'm just like, oh, maybe he was busy. Maybe he, like, had other stuff that he needed to do. And I didn't really expect what was coming next. But as time went on, we weren't hearing from him very often. And Stan was very closed off, and I didn't know why, but I thought he was probably just having a rough time, and his family was probably helping him get through it, because he he's one of the coolest people I've ever met. Nothing bad could ever happen to him. And then, it was, I think, I think it's two years, I can't remember, but I, I hate talking about it. It's But I need to talk about it. It's It's really important, especially today. It's really important that I talk about this. So, I was in the middle of a hairspray rehearsal. I did hairspray. Uh, I think it was two years ago now. And I was playing an ensemble character. We were doing choreography, and they had to run through a song that I wasn't in. So I was sitting at a table with everybody else. We were going through our lines, and one of the actor... I don't remember his name, I'm sorry. But the actor who was playing Corny Collins in the show, he... He talked about a vigil for Stan. And I'm like, wait. And I said his last name. I was like, vigil. He's only he's only missing because we, we were having reports of Stan going missing. And I thought he was going to be okay. <laughs> but we were, I was, I was trying to hold on to hope. I didn't want to think that, that Stan was gone. But there's that, that he said that he was holding a vigil and I, I looked all over social media because I wasn't allowed to use my phone during rehearsals but I used it anyway I needed to know if it was true I'm like don't you fucking bullshit me tell me that Stan is okay <laughs> he took his own life he committed suicide and I couldn't stop crying I'm still affected by it to this day because I respect Stan so much. I miss him. I miss him so much. And the news today with Etika 
hit me so incredibly hard. I started having a panic attack. I, I calmed down, but I, I really thought I needed to talk about this because suicide is fucking tragic, okay? I know it's been said a million times and I'm not breaking any fucking ground here, but I have first-hand experience, okay? I've lost someone that I have truly cared about to suicide. Stan meant so much to so many people, and the fact that the fourth year of acapella camp, we dedicated a song to him. Those rehearsals were so hard, especially for all of us who were there since the first year of acapella camp. I... <laughs> we gotta hold it together. We gotta hold it together. Hold up. I need water. I need water. <laughs> I'm fucking gross right now, but I don't care. <sighs> okay. It was really hard for us to do a cappella camp for that specific song because we thought it was a good song. It was Dear Evan Hansen, You Will Be Found. We all loved it. It was it's a great song. But then because the first year instructor, he was there every year after that, and he was really close with Kevin. He was closer to Kevin than most of us, and I mean, I mean, Stan, fuck, <laughs> Stan, he, <sighs> I miss him every day, and if, Etika, I loved your videos, Etika, you made me smile. I know that that wasn't your real personality. It was an internet persona you made for yourself. I highly doubt you're like that all the time. And I imagine it was so much pressure. The fact that you had pretty much a million subscribers, so many Twitter followers, you always had eyes on you. And that made you feel more alone. But I really wish that your conclusion was to end it all. I really wish it wasn't your conclusion. You deserved a better ending. If you had to delete your channel, do it. YouTube, I, I know it's it's hard for someone who made it a career, but if you, if it is driving you insane, don't do YouTube. YouTube is not important. I do it for a hobby. I don't do it for fame. It's different for people who are doing it for careers, but if it's not doing it for you mentally, get yourself out of it. Because Etika is a result of someone who felt like he was trapped, had no other option but to kill himself, okay? It's a harsh reality. It sucks. Life fucking sucks, okay? But it gets better. It gets so much better. So, in this time that we're all mourning Etika, I want you all to say to yourself, I am more than I think I am. Thank you for listening. <laughs>